Have you ever seen your favorite idol in the most iconic outfit you've ever seen? And you're like, where do I even get a fit like that? Well, let me introduce you to today's sponsor, Fashion Chihu. They're the go-to site for K-pop and K-drama outfits from your favorite actors and artists. You can actually filter through the website and find specific outfits that your favorite members have also worn, from the chic style of Jenny from Blackpink to the casual artistic look of RM from BTS. Trust, if I get those twice tickets, you better believe I'm dressing up like Momo, or Jihyo, or Nayeon. Fashion Chingu ships almost worldwide and offers free shipping over $60. Check out the link in the description and thank you Fashion Chingu for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get into it, yeah. This thing even on? <laughs> What's up, Crackhead Nation? It's your girl, Princess Galaxy, and today I am here for an urgent emergency. First, I want to say, I just turned 24 yesterday. <laughs> I just turned 24 yesterday, oh my god. Yeah, so today I wanted to make a video for you guys to talk to you guys about my strategy for getting twice tickets. So I made a TikTok um, almost a week ago, basically talking about how, I'll show it right here, but it's basically talking about, yeah, I signed up like the last day that twice was doing like the Ticketmaster verified fan thing. And literally I was so worried and I was like, oh my God, like I'm, I'm definitely not getting a ticket. I know it didn't, ha I know it doesn't have to do with like when you sign up for a ticket for verified fan, but I was just so last minute with it. I was like, oh my God, like, you know, like how is this gonna work out for me? And then the next day, Ticketmaster or JYP or whoever the fuck was trying to mess up my vibe was like, Oh yeah, like no, actually it turns out we're we're extending this to like the 19th or whatever. And I'm like, I'm definitely not getting a code now. So now I'm just like, now I need like extra forces on backup, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, okay, well I need my shit together. So today we're gonna do a little makeup tutorial and a little talk through about my plans. Um, so get into it. Also, I wanna say that um, I have officially quit my job at a department store recently. I just stopped working um, last week. Last week was my last day. Well, my last day was March 3rd. Looking forward to doing YouTube more and doing it like full time. So I'm really excited. So here's my strategy basically for this Twice concert, right? So we all know about the verified fan thing, okay? We're all very aware of it ex its existence. And obviously I'm gonna sign up. I'm gonna, I forced Cameron to sign up. Um, all my friends in my K-pop group chat are signing up. So I think there's levels to this, right? Obviously first sign up for a verified fan, even if you don't think you have a good shot, you should still sign up period because they'll give you a better chance than just trying to do like an on sale or whatever. Um, so yeah, even though I low key don't trust Ticketmaster <laughs> at all, but honestly, if Ticketmaster is the only person that we have or like the only entity we have, we just have to follow their rules. So my first is obviously to <laughs> sign up for the presale. Like a bonus tip, if you don't have anyone in your life that wants to sign up, I would recommend you sign up and make a new account and sign up with that account. Now, this is kind of like hush hush information, but if you have, if you want to make multiple accounts, Ticketmaster is now requiring you in order to sign in into like when you purchase tickets, they're going to ask you for a code to get sent to your phone number. So not only do you need another email, you need another phone number. Like you can probably make email accounts with whoever and then you can attach like fake phone numbers. You know how people make like fake phone numbers or whatever. You can try that. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> like you should try it, but this is unsolicited. This is not, don't sue me, okay? <laughs> but I always recommend like, when I made my Map of the Soul videos from a few years ago, I recommended that people make multiple accounts because my neighbors are psychopaths. I always recommend that people make multiple accounts because that gives you a better chance. Now Ticketmaster has it where you have to not only sign in, but as soon as you sign in to get tickets, you have to verify your code sent to your mobile device. 
So if you want to go around this and use, like, say you have five accounts on Ticketmaster, you sign up all five for verified presale, and they all have their own individual phone numbers that are like actual phone numbers that you can use to like send a code to yourself. I mean, like get the code. If you get a code, if one of those five get a code for the Ticketmaster verified fan sale, you can only use one of those codes on one of those accounts. So you can't have like three accounts and then get it for one account and then use the code for another account. You can't use other people's codes that aren't from your original account. Next, like I said, I'm just gonna wait for the code because I don't, I don't trust people who sell their codes. If someone is selling a code, I don't care if it's on Reddit. I don't care if it's on Facebook. I don't care if your mama wants you to have her code. You can only use it with the account that the code was signed up for. Like that's like my friend not getting it. And then I give her the code that I got. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. So when people sell their codes, don't do it. Like Nicki Minaj says, don't do it. Okay. The codes are usually given the day before um, tickets go on sale for the verified fan. So I would definitely look out the day before. Um, I think for Blackpink, I got them the day of actually. They should let you know, but sometimes with Ticketmaster, it's like, you never know because that shit is stupid. Sign up and everything. You're gonna wait for the day of the sale. Now here's the thing about the actual sale. When it comes and before, you need to find out what device and what internet connection you are going to be using for the sale. So me personally, I have recommended this for years. Do not use the Ticketmaster app. The app is trash. Personally, I feel like it's trash. Now, people do really good with the app. I'm not saying you can't use it, but my best experiences with getting tickets, the, the most seamless, you know, experiences are always through desktop computers, laptops, laptop, my computer, laptop, use a laptop, anything. I said, I always recommend that anyone uses a desktop a computer or a laptop. Even a iPad or like a tablet is better. Um, or like using your mobile browser on your phone is better than Ticketmaster app because that, that ish is dumb. Like literally you have to, you have to go out and you have to, it's just, it's just too much. So I would not recommend that. Just use a desktop, sign in on your desktop with the account that the code is registered for. So yeah. Next thing I do is like even before or like probably the day of, but probably a few days before I check my Wi-Fi speeds. So if you know that like you go to school or you go to work or um, think about the time that you're basically going to be trying to get these tickets, think about where you're going to be. Um, most of us are probably going to be, I don't know, at work, at school. Um, so like if you're a student and you're using like like the only thing you have access to are your like your campus Wi-Fi, your school Wi-Fi, um, or your mobile data. You need to test like all of the options that you have, all the Wi-Fi systems that you have. So I actually did this. So um, my Verizon, my data on my phone is slower than you know trying to use my computer because it's connected to my Wi-Fi inside my house and it's way stronger, way faster. Now I got my Fenty Beauty. I got this for my birthday. Thank, thank you, Elton. It's a gloss bomb and fussy. I like this and it smells really good. Oh, I always recommend that. I always recommend to check your Wi-Fi speeds. And I know it seems like, okay, Wi-Fi speed, like whatever, it's not a big deal. Like who cares about Wi-Fi speed, but it's really gonna make or break your experience getting your tickets because that's what prevents like that's how you become one step closer from actually getting a seat to you know having all this shit taken up and i know okay i also realized that sometimes people are like well at the end of the day like how are you going to compete with uh bots and scalpers and blah 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 because it has been proven that ticketmaster works with scalpers allegedly to um 
price them higher on secondary markets like StubHub and SeatGeek and things like that. So I'm not saying that all of this is in vain, but I think it's important to understand that even if you do everything right, sometimes it just can go wrong. But I think if you are trying to get concert tickets, you should at least try to have like some sort of strategy um, because as Taylor Swift said, you know, like if you don't plan, if you fail the plan, you plan to fail. She's a mastermind, okay? <laughs> and she knows more about Ticketmaster than we probably ever will, okay? So now I'm going in with this MAC travel exclusive palette. I got it from the Newark airport. Um, just like a basic everyday nudes palette. Does it look good? <laughs> Does it look good? I'm trying to see. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to do this with the camera. That did not work, okay. Whoa! <laughs> That's too much, I'm doing too much. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know what? It matches the silver on the shirt. It matches the silver on my boobs, so. Yeah. Oh well. That means Momo can see me from the stage and that's exactly what I want. Finally, mascara. This is a perversion mascara by Urban Decay. Um, I'm not a fan of that name. Perversion. I'm not a fan of that. So sometimes people wonder like how many tickets to get. So it also depends because I personally feel like if you and a group of friends are like wanting to go to the concert together, I feel like that's fine. If you can get a group of like, I think there's four max you can buy, four tickets max you can buy. So if you have like a group of four or something, then that's fine. But I feel like it's way easier. In my experience, it has been way easier to purchase multiple. It is easier to purchase one ticket than trying to purchase like four or five or you know what I mean? like. I just feel like it's way easier on the process. And if you guys aren't like sitting right next to each other, like you can still try to get four tickets, like four seats next to each other. But me personally, if I'm like hanging out with my friends beforehand, I don't need to be right next to them. Maybe if you guys are like huge, super like stands, like I guess that would be fine. But I just feel like strategy wise, it's way easier to just get one ticket and then like hang out with each other before and after but that's my opinion that's just a personal anecdote that doesn't that's not like a 100 like foolproof thing i think i think my look is done let me <laughs> let me put on my glasses so i can even see myself <laughs> it's so idiotic how do i look I feel like I don't look any different. With makeup on, I just feel like I look the same. Is, does my foundation match? Does my foundation match my body? Don't answer that because my feelings don't get hurt. I feel like I'm neutral toned, so it's kind of hard for me to like get foundation. That's basically it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like it. Um, if you guys have any questions regarding this concert or just like general concert questions, let me know. That's like my whole MO. Subscribe for more of this K-pop concert content and my silly self. And I will see you in the next video. And I just wanna thank my sponsor once again, Fashion Chingu, for sponsoring my video and supporting my journey on YouTube. So yeah. All right guys, I'll see you next week with another piece of content. You already know how this goes. You've been on YouTube for years, I assume. Okay, bye.